Hello all, this video is on installing MicroPython firmware onto ESP32 using Thony IDE. Already some years back we have done a video on this. This video is to update the small modification in the Thony IDE. Verify the model of your ESP32 minus ESP32 room 32 which is generic model. You can connect it to your PC and note on the COM port allotted. Download the Thony IDE. Uh, latest Thony ID. This is a very simple uh, ID for MicroPython. Mine is Windows uh, machine and downloading the latest version. Then head on to the micropython.org website and then uh, go to your uh, ESP32 version. Mine is room uh, 32 which is generic model. I'm downloading the latest firmware. There are also other firmwares for Unicore and uh, S2, S3 models. Mine is generic, so I am downloading the latest firmware for uh, generic model. Now install the Thony IDE and then open Thony IDE. Before that, uh, go to the device manager and note on the COM port allotted to your ESP32 uh, module. Click on stop button. Uh, now you are not seeing any chevrons as no micropython is installed go to tools options and then click on inter interpreter uh, tab and then the, from the drop down menu select the micropython esp32 and then check the uh, select your port that is allotted to esp32 and at the bottom uh, leave the tick marks for default and then click on install. It will go to the next window. In the next window, again select the target port. It will be automatically selected, otherwise you have to select it manually. And then at the bottom, there are uh, the, uh, the first drop down menu. Click on select local micropython image. And then browse to the location where you have downloaded the firmware file. Now uh, the firmware file is selected and then click on install at the uh, bottom side left hand side you can see the progress bar uh, wait uh, till you see the done message now the micro python firmware is uh, being installed and once you see the done message uh, the firmware has been updated or loaded onto your hardware now you can click on close and then OK button. In the Tony ID at the bottom, you can see the active interpreter in the shell. That is the three chevrons. This is also called REPL. That is a read, evaluate, print and loop. You can type in hello world, print hello world. Uh, the shell will print the hello world at the bottom. Now let us write a simple script to and upload it onto ESP32 to blink LED. Uh, now write the script in the edit space, edit the space, and then file save it as main.py. This is very important. No other name you can give. Save it as name uh, main.py onto MicroPython device. Now click on the green button, or you can uh, click F5 to execute the code. Now you can see the onboard LED which is connected to ES uh, GPU 2 in my type of generic board. It is blinking. You can use the, uh, the reset button at the top to reset the device so that you can uh, get the chevron back at the bottom. Also you can press on the stop button on the top to stop the execution. Most important is uh, under tools manage plugins. Uh, you search for ESP tool and then verify that ESP tool has been uh, installed. It is pre installed in Tony Python. If it is not installed, you have to install it manually. Otherwise, this MicroPython firmware will not be uploaded onto ESP32. Thank you for watching.